Y'all ready for the best pecan sandies? Delicious cookies full of pecan delight. Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to take your leftover pecans that you have from your Thanksgiving baking and cooking. Now if you don't have these leftover from Thanksgiving, then you can certainly go out and just get you a package of chopped pecans. I'm going to show you how to make another special treat for Christmas. These are cookies and they're called pecan sandies. A very traditional classic cookie and they're made in so many different ways. I'm going to show you my version today. These are buttery, full of pecans, just a delicious cookie. Perfect for your cookie boxes that you're going to give away at Christmas or just right off of the cooling rack. <laughs> Why not? You ready? Let's go ahead and put this one together. Now this cookie is very easy to make, so we're going to start off by taking two sticks or one cup of very soft butter. And when I say very soft, you want to leave it out for quite a while so that it will get softened up. You don't want to have it melted, like dribbling into our bowl, and we don't want to have it hard coming right out of the refrigerator. Okay, so we're going to add this to our large mixing bowl of our stand mixer. I've already got one stick of butter in there. We're going to go ahead and place our second stick in. And this will equal one cup of softened butter. We're going to cream this together until it gets nice and fluffy. to get this nice and creamy before we add the sugars. Okay, you can see that it changed colors just a little bit and it's nice and creamy down there. So what we're going to do is add half a cup of white granulated sugar. I'm going to combine this for one minute. We're going to go ahead and add one quarter cup of brown sugar. And you want to make sure you pack it in. There we go. We're going to cream this again for another minute. I'm just going to push the sides down Come on this side. I'm going to give it one more whirl. Okay, that is looking nice and fluffy in there. Let's go ahead. I'm going to crack one egg. I brought the egg to room temperature also. Keep everything the same temperature. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, we're going to give this a whirl. Push down the sides. Okay, we've got it all nice and creamed up in here. What we're going to do is add two cups of all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to add it about half a cup at a time. That way we don't have flour going everywhere. So I'm just using a half cup measure here. So just make sure you start it off on the slow setting before you go up to the medium. Now 
as I'm adding my third half a cup here, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add the last of my flour and then I'm just going to take my spatula, go down the sides. Alright, we're going to combine this again until it's all well incorporated. It's all well incorporated. I'm going to take my bowl off of the mixer here. What we're going to do is add one cup of our chopped pecans. Now I'm going to take a wooden spoon and blend this all together. It's going to be a stiff dough. What we're going to do is take some plastic wrap and lay it over our work surface. We're going to place our cookie dough onto the center of the plastic wrap. And then we want to roll this into a log shape. All right, now that we've got it all onto the plastic wrap, you want to take that and start forming a log. Now the whole thing is covered with the plastic wrap and you want to form it the same size all the way from one end to the other so we have equal cookies when we cut them out. And then I'm just going to close the ends can roll this. We are ready to place this in the refrigerator. We want to chill the dough and it'll take at least an hour to overnight. I'm going to do mine for an hour just for the sake that I can show you what these cookies are going to look like when they're done. All right, come back so we can finish these off and I can show you what they look like. I've pulled my dough out of the refrigerator. Now at this time you can go ahead and start preheating your oven at 350 degrees. Now I have a sheet pan and I'm just using a sill mat or you can line it with some parchment paper or you can just lightly spray it. You want to take your cookie dough out of the plastic. It's pretty firm. We're going to cut our cookie dough log into half inch rounds. Now these cookies will not grow any more than what you see right here. So the thickness and the length of your cookie, that's what it will be. So we're going to place these on our prepared cookie pan. Now we're just going to leave just a little bit of room between each cookie. That way the air can go around it and heat up and brown our cookies on the edges there. All right, I think I got a little too thick there. Okay. I'm going to show you right here. That's good right there. We want these to cook all evenly. Look at all those pecans in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. place these in my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. It all depends on the size of your cookie and we want these to be nice and golden brown along the edges and the top of the cookie. I'll be back you guys. We still have one more thing to finish these off. 
All right, I just pulled my cookies out of the oven. What we're going to do before they cool down is take some pecan halves. Now this is optional. And I'm just going to take one and place it in the center of each cookie. And just press down a little bit. That way when it cools, the pecan will be locked into the cookie. Now you can see that they're nice and tinged around the edges, nice and golden brown, and they're solid on the top, which is nice. We're going to let these cool on the pan for about two to three more minutes before we remove them and place them onto a wire rack, and then we would want them to cool completely. Y'all ready for the best pecan sandies? Delicious cookies full of pecan delight. Package these up for friends or family. I'm ready to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, they're light and crispy on the outside, cake-like consistency on the inside. It's very buttery. I love all those pecans all through the whole cookie. It is so good. Look at that. It holds together very well, nice and firm. You definitely need to make these for your cookie boxes that you're going to give away, or heck, just eat them in your own house while you're trimming your tree, watching Christmas movies, or just whatever you want them for. They are so delicious. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think and what your favorite cookies are. If you haven't seen my prior video, it's when me and my husband made peanut brittle. It was so easy to put together. It just takes a little time and patience, but the outcome is amazing. Go check that one out. In fact, I will link it right here for you. And also, I have another one right here, and these are my chocolate covered cherries. If you want to go check that one out, I'll meet you over at either one. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can hit it right around this area right here. I will see you on my next episode. Mm.